video is sponsored by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, build your online presence with Squarespace. Hey everyone, Ace of Clay here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another sculpting video. If you're new here, I'm a sculptor and every week I make a new sculpture. And in today's video, I'm sculpting the Crooked Man from The Conjuring 2. Now, while the Crooked Man is in The Conjuring 2, he's actually a character inspired by an old British nursery rhyme. It goes like this, it's a short one. There was a crooked man and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence against a crooked style. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in a little crooked house. How this character has anything to do with the nursery rhyme, I don't know, I think they just got the name from it, but he's really weird, really creepy, really unnerving. He's got these long, gangly limbs, he's got this big, creepy smile, his eyes are like poking out of his little hat that he's got, and of course he's got some glasses, he carries this umbrella, and he attacks the little kid in the movie, and it's just one big, creepy, awesome experience. <laughs> so I thought this guy would be the perfect addition to my horror villain series that we've been working on for a few weeks. And of course, if you want to see me bring this guy to life, then hit like, hit subscribe, check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Ace of Clay, and let's make the Crooked Man. All right, let's get started. I've got my wooden plaque here with my holes drilled, and I'm going to start shaping out the body with some aluminum wire and then I'm just mirroring the first side to create the other side and then we're going to wrap both pieces together and then all of the materials and tools that you see me use in this video are listed in the description box below along with my affiliate links if you want to purchase anything and just like that we've got a skeleton and after bulking out the torso with some aluminum foil I'm covering it with some super sculpy original and then we're going to start working on the legs after I add that piece of wire for his neck Roll out that snake of clay, start applying the clay to the armature wire and smoothing it out and getting it into the right shape. He's wearing very, I guess, tight, slim fit tuxedo pants. And we just want to make everything nice and smooth. And then of course, add some snakes of clay where the fabric wrinkles in different areas. And then blend those in with my really tiny spoon tool and my regular spoon tool, just like that. And then I'm just rolling this pointy tool on the surface to create some wrinkles behind his knees. I don't want to add any clay to them because I don't want to create any bulk. I just want to crease the clay. And then before we start working on his upper half and collar, I just want to throw his neck on really quick. And then we can add the collar like so. And then get everything into the right shape using my spoon tool, of course, and then blend that bottom edge with the rest of his shirt and then we can start working on his little tie that he's got. And then he's wearing a nice three-piece tuxedo, so let's get his vest on and then nitpick things a little bit before we can start working on those lapels. Now I'm using my Excel blade to cut out the fish mouths. And then you can use my code Ace of Clay at ExcelBlades.com to get 15% off your purchase. Now I'm just blending in that tail that I added to the back of his coat. This was made out of cos clay so that it doesn't break after it's baked. Now I'm just nitpicking some things a little bit on the chest, getting the edges done on the rest of his coat, blending everything in real nice. And of course, we have to add some more stretchy little wrinkles with some snakes of clay. Now working our way down, let's work on his shoes. like that he's ready for his first bake looking pretty good let's get this guy in the oven and once he's baked and completely cooled down let's make his arms but before we make the arms we need to position the wire because we don't want to position the wire after the clay's on it because you're just gonna smash the clay all over the place so get your skeleton right before you add the clay all right and then before we add the clay we gotta add some bacon bond so that it sticks real nice to that wire 
And now let's add our clay. These are just snakes of clay that I'm adding to the wire. I'm just gonna speed right through this process. And then I don't show the other arm because that's redundant. And you're probably wondering why his other arm is so long. That's because that's gonna be the armature for his umbrella that I'm creating right now with a nice tapering snake of clay, getting it nice and blended in and just shaping out that umbrella, rolling this ball stylus on the surface to give it some nice creases and then pinching the little pointy parts at the end. And then of course, we're going to add the handle by just poking in a little piece of wire like that. And then get that covered in clay and then we can start working on the rest of the umbrella and his hands. Now, instead of sculpting the hand separately that's holding the umbrella, I'm just sculpting it around the handle. This just makes more sense than trying to shove a hand in there. And now we're just gonna take a tiny little break to talk about our sponsor. Before we get into the rest of the video, let's take a second to talk about our sponsor, Squarespace. No matter if you're a big business, small business, freelance designer, or sculptor like me, Squarespace has everything you need to showcase your brand, sell your products, and more. I've been using Squarespace for three years now, even before they started sponsoring me, and I could not be happier with my experience. Their products are so streamlined and so easy to use that managing my website, aceofclay.com, is truly effortless. Some of my favorite favorite features include the portfolios and galleries with my line of work I have to show my work to the world and their beautiful portfolio options allow me to show it in its best light. I also recently opened my online store where I sell stickers, posters, and even original sculptures and Squarespace makes it so easy I can track my inventory, even print shipping labels, I get notifications when things sell and everything is right there in the platform. You can even sell digital downloads, they really have everything you need to start selling online. And of course at this day and age you've got to have a social media presence if you're a business and Squarespace allows you to seamlessly integrate your social media posts into any page of your website. So if everything I just said sounds good and you want to start your own website or online store, head on over to squarespace.com, start that free trial, and then when you're ready to open for business and go live, go to squarespace.com slash aceofclay to save 10% on your first purchase of a website or domain using my code aceofclay. Thanks again Squarespace, you're awesome. Now let's finish that hand. As you can see, I added the fingers as a little sheet of clay and I am pressing in my wedge shaper tool to create the space in between each finger. And then just blending everything in real nice. Now we just gotta finish up a couple more details on that umbrella and then we can work on his other hand. And I made his hand out of cos clay so that his tiny little fingers don't break off after I bake them. Alright, now that his body is pretty much done, it's time to work on his creepy face. Going ahead and covering that ball of aluminum foil with some clay, and then we're going to start pressing out his mouth. He's got this big, huge, crazy grin with tiny, razor-sharp little teeth. Now we just want to gouge out some clay to create the inside of his mouth and separate the top teeth from the bottom teeth, and then use a bunch of different tools to shape them out. I'm not adding any clay in this process, we're just simply removing clay to create the shapes that we want. And if we're going to add clay, then that's just going to add bulk and it's going to look really weird, so it's better to just do it this way. We're just going to chip away at that mouth. And of course, we've got to add some crazy little wrinkles with our Explorer tool around the mouth and then using this little pointy spoon tool from Clay Claim to indent the gums and then back to the Explorer tool again for some more detail work. And now we can create the brim of his hat. This is just a snake of clay that I'm flattening out on one side. Now I'm just going to create the easiest set of eyes I've ever made. <laughs> There's just little pokes in his hat. Check it out. Mm -hmm. 
After adding more wrinkles to his face, I'm going to attach the head with, of course, some bacon bond. And then where did that piece of wire go that I just cut? I don't know. I'll find it later. All right, let's go ahead and mess with things a little bit, get his neck blended in, added a little more clay for that. And now to texture his suit, I want to dab on some bacon bond to give it a nice rough fabric texture. This is a great little technique. And he's ready for his final bake. And once he's baked and completely cooled down, let's check him out. Looking pretty good, Mr. Crooked Man. Okay, let's mix some paints. How's that for ASMR? I swear these paints are older than my YouTube channel. All right, we're gonna mix that nice red tone for his clothes. <laughs> the base color of his tuxedo. Get that on, it's this nice sort of cranberry color, kind of dull, not too bright, cause he's creepy, you know. <laughs> Let's get that surface color on. Now once that base coat is on and completely dry, it's time for my least favorite step, painting millions of pinstripes down the jacket with my, the tiniest paintbrush I own. This process took me, I think, a solid hour to paint them all. And in the video, I didn't paint the pinstripes on the back of his jacket, and I'm not gonna tell you if it's still not painted. So, uh, here's a time-lapse of everything. And now that his clothes are completely done, it's time to start painting his skin, starting with this nice medium gray tone. And then we're gonna dry brush some lighter gray on that, and then just keep getting lighter and lighter and lighter until I reach the shade that I want. Now for his mouth, I'm gonna paint everything completely black, even the teeth, because he's got, looks like smudged black lipstick for lack of a better way to describe it on his lips. So I'm just doing that and kind of smudging things around. And then I'm gonna go in with some light yellow to paint those teeth. And they really pop if I don't say so myself. All right, now that that mouth looks pretty good, let's get the rest of him finished. My favorite step, I'm gonna cover the entire thing in a nice brown wash. This is a real wash that you buy as a wash, not one that you make yourself. And it's made by War Paints, and I believe it's dark brown. Now to finish him off, I just wanna create his glasses from a piece of silver floral wire. I'm making them by wrapping it around this paintbrush handle. Look at the little glasses. Now after bending the earpiece, I'm going to attach them with some Loctite. And when I say this stuff works, it works. The second that glasses touched the brim of his hat, they were on. It is amazing. So keep that in mind if you ever need to glue something to polymer clay. And for the last step, we're gonna paint his base. Now say it with me. And he's done. My sculpture of The Conjuring's Crooked Man is complete. Let me know what you think of him in the comments. This was such a fun little sculpture. It's of course right up my alley. I could basically have sculpted his suit with my eyes closed because I've sculpted so many tuxedos over my lifetime, but I enjoyed the process. I love his proportions. I love his umbrella. I love the tiny little glasses that Loctite 
worked really well gluing those on, man. They just like stuck right there. They're not going anywhere. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you come back for more next week. As always, thank you so much for watching and being here. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Ace of Clay. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.